Hello there brothers and sisters from all around the world. Welcome again to this Bible study. And yeah, the last video we saw Lindsay beautifully unpacking um, the last verse, Jude 1 verse 3. And now it's my turn again and we will go into a very serious verse today. It will be Jude 1 verse 4. And here Jude writes... For certain men, whose condemnation was written about long ago, have secretly slipped in among you. They are godless men, who change the grace of our God into a license for immorality, and deny Jesus Christ, our only Sovereign and Lord. Okay, let's dive into some interesting points. First, in this verse, Jude explains why his readers should aggressively defend the truth. As predicted, a moral man had crept into the membership of first century churches. Jude describes them as ungodly, accusing them of claiming that God's grace allowed them to lead immoral lives. According to Jude, they even rejected the fact that Jesus Christ is the ultimate authority and Lord. It seems that these apostates believed it was acceptable to give in to the body's evil desires. The apostates' character, conduct and condemnation had been predicted in Isaiah 8, in 2 Thessalonians, in 1 Timothy, 2 Timothy, and 2 Peter. Okay, a second interesting point is that in Romans 6, verse 1 and 2, Paul addressed those who think God's grace allows them to keep on sinning. And they asked Paul, Are we to continue in sin that grace may abound? And then Paul says, By no means by no means how can we who die to sin still live in it and in 1 peter 1 verse 15 and 16 peter also challenges the false teaching that grace permits immoral living writing but as he who called you is holy you also be holy in all your conduct since it's written you shall be holy for I am holy. And the false teacher's notion that it doesn't matter whether the body is morally clean or unclean is also clearly addressed in Romans 12, 1, where Paul urges believers to offer their bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God. Okay, brothers, this verse serves as a powerful reminder that among God's elect, those he identified for salvation from the outstart, are also hiding those who are marked out for condemnation. So yeah, they're among us, they are among those who are elected. And on the surface, it would seem that such individuals will be very easy to identify. Their sinful motivations and attitudes will be revealed in their actions and words. But how many fool themselves that God's grace will cover their recurring sin? And whether it's adultery or arrogance in thinking they are above God's commands or pursuit of addictions or anything else that denies that Jesus Christ is their only Sovereign and Lord. Worse yet, is brazen in their sinful ways, they try to convince others that their actions are self-care, or learning about themselves, or even they say that these scriptural prohibitions are no longer applicable in today's world. They quickly forget that as a Christian, we are fully subjected to Jesus Christ, our Sovereign and Lord. Our pleasure 
is derived from pleasing him and living obediently to his commands. May we live our lives soberly, seeking his wisdom and learning to live in a way that honors him and give him alone the glory. May God bless you in living this life and give him, him all the glory. I hope to see you in the next Bible study. God bless you.